Very good. I do want to ask you a question. Okay. Because we've talked about quiet quitting. Yeah, I don't right? know what that is. Well, you don't actually quit. You don't. It's when you just don't do everything that is expected of you because you think it's too much and you think it's unfair. So you sort of mail it in. Kind of. A little bit, yeah. Okay. A little bit. Right. Um, but there, and you're you're making a point that listen, you're asking me to do something that is outside my wheelhouse that I shouldn't have to do. That's quiet quitting. Have you heard about quiet firing? Is my question. Fortune magazine describes it as feeling quote burned out by being denied raises, promotions, more PTO. So I talked to this expert uh, who said basically the boss is just waiting for you to quit by making it clear that you're not going anywhere within the company, but they don't make it clear why. Quiet firing is when you don't have a future here. Your manager knows you have no future here. Your career development is over. You're completely tapped out, but no one is going to tell you that. It's quiet. It's like you've been fired, but it's quiet. You're not actually still at the job, but you're just going to linger there until maybe the next round of layoffs. That's Jessica Creekel. She's chief scientist for Culture Partners, studying the culture of companies. And she says some reasons that your boss won't talk to you or fire you outright is one, they're afraid you're going to sue them, possibly. Two, they don't have the resources to fill your position. Or three, the manager just doesn't want to have an uncomfortable conversation with you. She said, you know, there are managers, but that doesn't mean they always know how to manage people. So what do you do if you suspect you may be quiet fired? Jessica suggests first have a direct conversation with your manager, pointing out that you're getting the feeling you don't have a future where you are and, you know, ask them, is that a reality? Or you can do what's called a skip level. You talk to your manager's manager. Gives you their perspective. I did that once. And I, that's how I found out that actually my manager has a big problem with me, but they wouldn't tell me in my performance evaluation because they were too scared. So I got the feedback that I needed from my manager's manager. And that's something Jessica said two signs for which we should be looking is that would clue us in to a potential quiet firing is if your manager doesn't give you constructive feedback on a regular basis because they may not be comfortable with those uncomfortable conversations. And two, if your manager has already quiet quit him or herself, meaning they're kind of doing the bare minimum. So your ability to be seen and move up is quashed. They're not going to take the time with you to develop hmm. you and do your thing because they're kind of, you know, phoning it in as well. It's fascinating to Isn't me. Isn't that something? That there's so much passive behavior going on in the workplace. Yeah. Uh, uh, Fortune would... had a great article actually about pas passive aggressive behavior and not just in the workplace, but how it, it affects us in relationships. Sure. And, and we're just getting away from having, and the whole ghosting thing, we are just not having face-to-face -face conversations and having difficult conversations, right. and that's how we grow, and we need to do that. But I don't know if it was COVID. I don't know what it was, but they're saying yeah. this, this is going to be a real problem. It's interesting. I, I, I myself, I prefer just open dialogue. Yeah, You know, Me go too. into your boss. Hey, are we hitting on the same cylinders here? Is yeah. everything okay? And if my boss had a problem with me, I would hope that they would do the same thing. You know, instead of quiet firing me, pull me into the office. Wait, hold on. Oh, my boss wants to see me right now? Oh, okay. I, I'm, I probably won't see you again. No, I'm kidding. But I would hope that, you know, I would hope that they would do that. You know, but just you have the open her. conversations. She said there are, you know, there are managers that are really good at what they do in, in the field. Yes. And then they get promoted to managers. But that doesn't mean they know how to manage yeah. people. You see that a lot. And they don't like having those candid conversations. Yeah, so I, I guess I can understand it's that. It's really interesting. Okay. All right, hopefully that helped you. If you're getting some weird vibes at work, maybe, <laughs> you know, you, you have a little bit of idea of how to handle it.